Hey guys, it's Tamer Laya Pluridon for BattlePetRandup.com, and I am at Celestial Tournament to fight Dr. Ion Gold Plume. I'm starting off with my Emerald Whelpling. Uh, you have a couple choices here. You can go with the Emerald Whelpling or like the Nether Fairy Dragon, but the Emerald Whelpling is a bit more hardy than the another fairy dragon I found and you'll see but this particular pet needs to go quite a long way through the fight uh, second I have the rabid nut varmint oh I should go back and tell you the uh, emerald whelpling has emerald bite moonfire and emerald dream the rabid nut varmint basically any extra quote unquote extra level 25 that uh, mechanical you have kicking around will do the job I totally wanted to be all like, oh look, son of Animus, haha, -ha, but that's not really fair. <laughs> but uh, son of Animus does make this fight really easy. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the extra -ist of the extra level 25 mechanicals I have kicking around uh, with Metal Fist, extra plating, and I went with Repair here. And then lastly, I have my Scourge Whelpling with Tail Sweep, Death and Decay, and Plagued Blood. Uh, the Breach shouldn't matter, but it might a little bit. Uh, we want that non-dragon with dragon abilities thing, so uh, the slower is better because you get to hit twice with Tail Sweep, but it doesn't really matter, and we'll get to that in a bit. First we have Screamer. He is a f He has flying attacks. And is a flying pet, so that's why we have the dragon with the magic attacks. Um, the reason why I went with the Emerald Whelpling is, like I said, uh, he ha the Screamer has feigned death. So he's going to exit in and out of this fight a few times. So as long as I have my Emerald Whelpling ready to go over and over again. Like, it, it has to be able to withstand a few swaps in and out. And, uh, he's probably gonna die. swap right here. Well, he's gonna swap or he's gonna die. Yeah, there he goes. He feigns death. And then next up we have Trike. Uh, which is just a dire horn. We'll swap to the Rabid Nut Varmint. I will put on extra plating first. And yeah, he works just like the regular player-controlled dire horns where he wants to send me every single time, and, uh... <laughs> um, I'm already at half health, so I'm gonna repair. How about that? <laughs> but, uh, luckily we have up the, uh, what you call it? The extra plating. So, uh, hopefully I won't die here. Um, but, yeah. So... Hopefully your extra is a little bit more front-loaded damage than my poor little squirrel. One thing, I, I really liked the Clockwork Rocket Bot on PTR, but I obviously don't have one of those at my disposal just now. So, um, if you... Because he has this Adrenaline Rush thing, um, you might want to do the Adrenaline Rush just so you don't get stunned by this crap right here. Um, which stuns if he's faster than you. Um, but yeah, I went with the uh, metal plating anyway, which was kind of silly on my part, apparently. Um, but we should pretty much take down Trike. And if not, if we have a little bit left to do, that's alright too. It's not preferable, but... Uh, and then I will just switch straight to the Scourge Whelpling because Screamer's going to come out again, but um, his Feign Death is going to be on cooldown now. So he's just going to come in and die. So what I'm going to do is uh, put down uh, what's this called? Death and Decay. And then Chaos swaps in. Now Chaos is super fast. So uh, Tail sweep should always hit twice for the most part. I numbers are not my 
favorite thing in the world, so I can't tell you off the top of my head. Oh, the other breeds have X for speed, so whatever. Um, but chaos, uh, logic, uncertainty, and instability altogether uh, have really low chances to hit. And they typically hit pretty hard. Um, the reason I went with the non dragon is that that logic is a uh, what you call it is a humanoid ability that he just used and it hits really hard regardless and yeah that's the uncertainty his accuracy is reduced by 25% and his chance to crit is increased by 100 so if he hits you he hits you really hard um but basically, you're just kind of trying to get out of here. And this is the other thing. That ability can kill you. But because I'm undead, I would come back and kill him anyway. So it's no big deal. And then Screamer comes back out. And we... Ah, I forgot he flies. He flies, so he'll miss that. So I should have refreshed Death and Decay or something. It doesn't really matter. And he'll kill me. But I'll come back and... Hit him with the plague blood, and then I'll hit him again with this little doohickey. Oh no, he's gonna feign death on me. Oh no, he's not. Okay, whatever. Well, if he did feign death, then we can just swap back to the Emerald Weapling, which is still pretty much at full health. Um, yeah. So that's Dr. Ion Goldbloom in kind of a nutshell. It's kind of a weird quirky fight and you have to do all kinds of weirdo swaps and stuff like that but hopefully this helped you figure out anyway how to uh how to get through it and i will see you next time